Jenny Cartwright with session four of our quick video tips on telephone sales. And this session is all about listening skills. Now when you, when you actually have good listening skills, you differentiate yourself from telemarketers. You want to be a professional telephone salesperson and actually demonstrate that you are listening to the customer before telling them what you have. So if you remember our session last week, we talked about selling the benefits of a barbecue. So if you were listening to the answers to the customer's questions, the way you would demonstrate listening is in three ways. And the first way is by summarizing what the person was saying. So in the barbecue example, you would say, so what I understand from what you said was that it's very hard to move your barbecue around the garden in and out of the sun, that it's very hard to clean and that it's full of rust. Is that correct? Now, when you ask a question like that, is that correct? You can only get a yes answer. Because if you are listening correctly and repeat it back correctly, then obviously the answer is going to be yes. So you're still engaging the customer in the conversation. You're building rapport. So the second way you can show you're listening is by doing exactly the, the same thing but paraphrasing. That's repeating back in your words, not theirs. So you just say it a little bit differently. So you, you would say, so your barbecue isn't portable, it's rusty and it's not and it's uh, very hard to clean. Is that correct? So again, same thing, and you get a, a yes answer if you've repeated back correctly. And the third thing that you do is you could actually empathize. Instead of summarizing and paraphrasing, you could empathize with their situation by saying, it must be really annoying that you can't move your barbecue in and out of the sun. Mustn't it? So mustn't it is also a tie-down question like, is that correct? Because it only gets a yes answer. So you're building rapport by showing these listening skills and you're differentiating yourself from ordinary telemarketers. Now finally, here's a very important point. You don't repeat back after each question that you ask. You only repeat back after you've listened to the answers to all three questions and then you summarize or paraphrase and repeat back a summary of what they said. If you repeat back after every question, you sound like a parrot. And there are many poor telephone salespeople that do that. Trust me, I've heard them. Now, if you're going for an appointment, after you've demonstrated your listing skills and repeated back what they said, you say, it sounds like a big good idea for us to meet. And then you go for your your clothes for the appointment. And that's the subject for next week. Have an outrageously successful week. I'm Jenny Cartwright and I'm here for your personal sales success. <laughs>